find integral 0 to pi by 2 sin raise to nx whole divided by sin raise to nx plus cos raise to nx dx. So here we have to find the value of this integral that is sin raise to nx divided by sin raise to nx plus cos raise to nx dx from 0 to pi by 2. In order to find value of this integral, at first take i equal to c integral 0 to pi by 2 sin raise to nx divided by sin raise to nx plus cos raise to nx dx. Next step, what we are going to do is we are going to apply the properties of definite integral that is we are going to use this property that is integral 0 to a f of x dx equal to integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx. That is, if we put a minus x instead of x, we will get the same value for the integral. That is, here instead of x, if we put a minus x, we will get same value of this integral. Now, here what is a? Comparing these two integral, we can find out that a equal to pi by 2. So, if we put pi by 2 minus x instead of x, we will get the same value of i according to this property. So, we can apply this property. Before that, consider that is in sin raise to n of pi by 2 minus x can be rewritten as sin pi by 2 minus x whole raise to n. Now, here sin raise to n of pi by 2 minus x is rewritten as sin pi by 2 minus x whole raise to n. That is, we are rewriting sin pi by 2 minus x like this. Sorry, sin raise to n as sin pi by 2 minus x whole raise to n. So, now what is sin pi by 2 minus x? That is cos x. What is cos pi by 2 minus x? That is sin x. So, we get integral 0 to pi by 2 cos x whole raise to n divided by cos x whole raise to n plus sin x whole raise to n dx. Okay. So, what we can rewrite next, that is, this can be rewritten as cos raise to nx divided by sin raise to nx plus cos raise to nx. That is, sin of x whole raise to n is sin raise to nx, cos of x whole raise to n is cos raise to nx dx. Okay. Now, 1 plus 2 will give 2i, that is, this equation is one, equation 1 and this equation is equation 2. Now, i plus i will give 2i. Now, we are adding the right hand side of this equation, that is, integral 0 to pi by 2, sin raise to nx, sorry, sin, sin raise to nx whole divided by sin raise to nx plus cos raise to nx dx plus integral 0 to pi by 2 cos raise to nx divided by sin raise to nx plus cos raise to nx dx. Now on adding, we can note that the limit is from integral, limit is from 0 to pi by 2 on these two sides. So we can take it as common and we can add these quantities. That is, we these quantities have same denominator. So it is taken here. That is sin raise to nx plus cos raise to nx. What will be the numerator? That is sin raise to nx plus cos raise to nx dx. Now, 2i will become some half of this quantity. That is 2i is this, then i equal to half of this quantity. Now, on integrating, that is sin raise to nx, cos raise to nx is common here. On cancelling it each other, we will get half of integral 0 to pi by 2 1 dx. What is that? Integral 1 dx equal to x. Then we have to apply limit from integral 0 to pi by 2. Now, 
what is upper limit pi by 2 that is on applying limit we will get pi by 2 minus 0 into half now what is the value of this integral then that is integral 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to nx divided by sin raised to nx plus cos raised to nx dx equal to pi by 4 okay 